Hey, get back to Wrestling Fan. Jason Jack Nettie here. I'm joined by my daughter, Haley. Hi, guys. And we have a whole bunch of unboxings to do today because we have things from birthdays and things from just guys in the store and fig yeah. hunting and stuff. And we got some open some stuff. So we're going to do a quick unboxing for you guys. So we got a whole bunch of elites. We got some of the new elite uh, uh, Ghostbusters. Yeah. We got some basics. We got some of the W Superstars. So grab some, Mr. Haley. Let's start opening. So the first I have is this bit. Uh, basic Ultimate Warrior. Basic Ultimate Warrior Series 98. 99. 98. You're right. 98. My bad. For my shelf. Okay. So let's, so open, let's him open it. Okay. Put your finger in. Pop it. Good job. Give me this. Pop him out. Push his butt. There we go. Oh, he's out. He yep. has some big muscles. Well, that was Ultimate Warrior for you. So I'll show him off. You grab the next thing. Okay. There's the Warrior. Again, if you don't have a Warrior, if you're a Warrior guy, this is pretty cool. Yellow tights. Okay, the white and the hassles. Everything very cool. Unlike the Ultimate, which has got the flexible the hassles you can actually mold or play with. But, like, there we go. Nice piece. And he has a cool um, thingy on his butt. He has the old Warrior logo. Now, this is for your shelf, right? Because we, yeah. we have a Warrior for our fig yeah. fed. So... The next is this WWE Superstars Becky Lynch. Mm -hmm. Now these, uh, the other ones, here, Haley, just start opening her. The other ones, so we hear some of the other girls in there. Here's the Sasha. These were the figure line that didn't work very well, but didn't sell well at all. So, and then we got Belly, and of course, Little Bliss. Miss Little Miss Bliss. Okay, and here's like this. Push her on her butt. Pop the arm. Oh, She's stuck. Oh. It's got a hook on it. Oh, it does have a hook. Okay, let me get the hook real quick. I forgot about that part. There we go. Thank there you. she is. So here's Becky Lynch. Now these were designed for uh, trying to take the exact same idea and try to get girls interested in playing with them. They also came with dolls and stuff as well. Uh, the problem is they just didn't sell well. I mean, they're they're in scale with the basics and stuff, but and there's no reason that you couldn't use these. Um, but I don't know. They just didn't sell well, and they we you know they became kind of hard to get your hands on for a while because they rid of them. So I'm the man. Well, this is before the <laughs> this is old Becky Lynch. She got the goggles and the whole nine. So all right, hey, let's start doing some elites. So the first elite we have is King Mabel. King Mabel, yeah. This is not the Chase variant; it's the regular one. So pop the side, Hale. Just just pull it out. Oh. There you go. Good. Grab them. There you go. So you have the bag of the for the hands. Yes, I will take. I will take care of all the hands. Okay. Now don't don't push the hands out. Save the hands. I'll do them after. Okay. Here's one. Push his butt. Oof. That was easy. That was a lot. Here, give me this here. Okay. So, again, the Mabel uh, comes with the interchangeable hands. Here's one of them. Right? So, you can change out his hands from open to close and stuff like that. Uh, the crown comes off. Okay. So, he's on fight. So he, Ooh, he has a cool mohawk. He has a cool mohawk. <laughs> yeah. It's very actually, actually very accurate. Um, I know Zach and Kurt maybe didn't love it as much uh, for some of the accuracy issue. But, you know what? Like, when are you going to get a King Mabel? This is really cool. Yeah. And, again... In scale, I mean, he's a big dude. He should be. All right, let's see who's up next, Haley. The um, one of the elite Ghostbusters. Ah, John, the John Cena. Yeah, the John Cena from the Ghostbusters line. Let's open him up. How about the other side, baby? There you go. Oh, yeah. There you go. All right. Now we, our Walmart, got in one shipment of these, and we bought what we needed to buy, and that's it. They haven't anything else since then. Um, we haven't seen them since then. Okay. Yeah. You want to grab that out of there? Okay. I'm gonna pop this out because. Uh, Oh no, he's got little straps. Okay, so I've got to cut him out. So let me cut him out. So if, if, this is a full background that he there uh, from the back it. of the box. Yeah. That I like taking these out and putting them on my shelf because like they're as really backgrounds. Cool. Yeah, as we, backgrounds. And it helps sometimes when we're doing some figure uh, photography. Yep. On the oh, there's John. Let's get the uh, proton pack down. The who are we gonna call? WWE Ghostbusters. Get rid of that thing. I'm going to need this probably for later. So let's see what we got here. So Cena comes with this. Now, the nice part is... I'm oh, sorry, Haley. Um, the nice part is, again, he has his dog tags. All the soft goods come off, and it's just a John Cena figure, an elite John Cena figure. But we're going to leave these on. Actually, we're going to want to put in the backpack directly on him, and he's going to go on a shelf as a display. Ghostbuster John Cena. Who are you going to call? WWE's Ghostbusters! All right, all right. Who's up next? The Rock. Okay, so in that same line, they have a Rock figure, and they have the actual Rock figure himself, and they actually have a Rock in the so Ghostbusters precious. line, which is the exact same figure, just different soft goods. We didn't have a Rock dressed like this. We got one. I think we have a Rock in general anyway, but we just were checking out 
Okay, so let's... I want him to... I like his shirt. Yeah. I'm going to put him on my shelf. Okay, so that's cool. So don't pop his extra hands. Rock comes with extra hands and sunglasses. Careful with those. Just push him on his butt. Okay. And he comes... Um, with a microphone. There's a microphone. I'll pull this one Yes. He goes, what is the rock without a microphone? So here, hand that to me. Trade that. Trade me that. Thank you, babe. Say Real quick, you see his hands there? They got all different kind of rock hands, so kind of thing like that. And then the sunglasses up. are up top. Sunglasses are up top, yep. And his shirt says, Layeth the smack down. This is really cool. He has really good articulation. Mm -hmm. He has a nice, soft, good shirt. Okay. This comes off. Okay. Yeah. So the same, it's, it's, just, it's the same rock. The same exact rock is when we brought it. He has a tattoo too. Yeah, he has all his tattoos. Well, this is an elite, so so it's the same rock. So you can have him out there being like, finally. Do you smell what the rock is cooking? Right, and finally, the rock has come back to Cleveland. <laughs> right. Yeah. So this is uh, again cool for the shelf. Grab the next one, Hale. E C. Three. Yeah, his debut in the line. First in the line, this is uh, Ethan Carter III, uh, EC3's first figure for uh, WWE, right? And it's an elite. Um, again, if you've uh, listened to Zach and Kurt's, uh, you know, the, the major podcast, you had him on when he debuted this figure. Push him right in his butt. Can't strapped. Oh, he's strapped in. He is. EC3 is strapped. I don't know why they would strap him in, but they did. Maybe Let's... they don't want him to break. It's weird how some are strapped in and some aren't, literally. <laughs> Okay, now this is not EC3 from main roster. This is EC3 when they actually used him, um, which okay. would have been NXT. You know how I can tell? Because he comes with an NXT mic. He comes with fist hands and the open hands to hold the mic. And he comes with the, oh yeah, the EC3. He does? Doing the EC3 right here. Right? No. There you go. EC3. This is weird. There it is. Well, all, all the three of us doing it, right? EC3 right there. Um, which is awesome. This is, these are these new hands. Sorry, get the plastic off there. They're coming out with the shirt. Of course, is just it's not soft. It, it's it's plastic. It's not soft like uh, actual shirt. Yeah. And this comes off really easily because he doesn't really wear a shirt per se like that. He wears just his little uh, apron kind mm -hmm. of thing. Well, that's what it's called. So um, really cool. It's called, so so EC3. And again, on the back, you can tell a little NXT logo. Um, NXT pretty much is white hot right now. Um, so I can't wait to use him in my fig fed. Yeah, and, and maybe Haley use him, unlike the B.E., who just kind of let him job out and just kind of like fade off. So, anyway, who's up next? Velveteen Dream. Yes, the Velveteen Dream, folks. This is his debut figure. He does have another figure coming. I think he has an, a basic coming as well. This is his Elite. Um, let me borrow the box for a second. So his Elite was uh, Series 67. Oh, so a while back, Haley's had this for a while. So let me show you what comes real quick. Comes with his uh, third eye sunglasses. He comes with alternate hands as well. And he does come with soft. Um, his shirt soft goods. His yes. shirt soft. Yeah, which of course it'll come off and it's tied at the waist. It's got a, like a little. It's a little rubber band little rubber, thing. Oops, sorry, 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 sorry. <laughs> rubber band at the waist, which we can take off because he'll be taking this off. Uh, Velveteen yeah, Dream's okay. hand, of course, very Velveteen Dreamy, right? And then his other hand to hold a microphone. Um, this guy might be going over this guy. Who knows? A lot of guys go over him now. Um, but, you know, so this guy could be a champion and summon a fig fed. But he's definitely, he's very uh, toyetic and poses well. Very, very, very cool. All right, Haley, who do we have left? Let's let's see. We got this guy. Oh, man. Tyler Bate. Tyler Bate. So this is one of, this is uh, Tyler's uh, debut figure, right? And on the back here, you, you pull him out, I'll show everyone the back. The back shows the UK tournament. I think this is his debut figure. It'll be him on the show. Uh, the back shows the tournament he won to win the uh, championship. You know, the European championship. And in fact, the insert is very, very cool. There's the cup. And it comes with this really awesome United Kingdom logo right up top there. We have to just cut that and out. Then we have, and then the belt, I'm not going to take out because I don't want to lose it. Well, no, we can, we can take the belt out. It's okay. Okay. The belt we can get. I mean, I'll put my hand in there. So Tyler Bate, very, very... Um, he doesn't come with a lot because he doesn't wear a lot. You know, he doesn't wear a shirt, he doesn't whatever. Um, he's part of Mustache Mountain now. Uh, but Tyler Bate, and here's his, his gold. There's his strap. There's a <laughs> belt, which you're not supposed to say. It's not a belt. It's a, it's a championship. It's not. It's a... Championship belt. It's a championship belt. It's just the strap, as we would say back in the day. Um, you know, kind of thing in there. Here, let's get his, his on him kind of thing. 
He's got a very tiny waist. <laughs> Urgh, big strong boy. Big than... strong boy. Big no, no, no. The, the ladies' stuff is way smaller. Big strong boy over here. Velveteen dream. <laughs> oh my God! He got him. Okay, and the last piece we have to open here. The last one we have to open is now this. We actually bought. Uh, we bought two of them. Two of them. Um, we bought two of them, and we're gonna have to. Uh, we we got to go through the rest of the boxes when we're done with the boxes. So um, and cut off pieces and stuff. So there we go. Let's, I'm gonna show everyone the back. You take. You take taker. It's the Undertaker, and he's the bad guy from this whole thing. So I we actually bought both of them. We saw two in the store. I bought one from my shelf downstairs. This is one for Haley. Um, he has the the ectoplasma plasmic belt. Sorry. That's stuck. That's stuck. Everything's stuck. Here, show him the title. I will get Taker out. Come on, Taker Tushy. So this is the belt. Oh, look, his hat is floating. <gasps> his hat is floating. <laughs> This is awesome. I mean, every his tattoos are there. He's, it is just an Undertaker figure done in absolutely clear plastic, clear purple. Hold him, Kel. Hey, hey, sorry, Hales. He can hold the and his belt. hat. His hat. Hat, and he can hold them. Oh, he dropped it. Yeah. Okay, well that wasn't um so good. That was not good at all. Well, you know, um, we, can, we can put the belt on him too. Put the belt on him. So this is again a world title belt. It's green. It's see through. It's just so cool. Like. I'm not a huge Ghostbuster guy. I mean, I like Ghostbusters, man, but I'm not a huge Ghostbusters guy. Um, I'm much more into, like, when the He-Man figures come out, that will be yeah. really cool. Um, I thought of He-Man much more as a kid growing up. But I'll tell you right now, this is really yeah. cool. cool. Right? Even if you don't like wrestling, hang on, the whole time I have to say, just the idea, like, it's like, it's hard to tell probably on the video, but, like, it's it's almost see-through and stuff. It's, you know, translucent. He's awesome looking. The purple... The, you the know, green. Taker, of course, purple. You know, he, many people remember Taker's colors. He had purple much more in, in his stuff back in the day. Um, and you know what, though? Like, this, to me, is the cool stuff that they can put out. Now, am I happy that these things are coming out? Yes. Am I happy that the retros are kind of on ice? No. Because I'd rather see the retros still happening and these things happening, not having to do these at the expense. And I'm not saying that these are happening and put the retros on ice. But we have the He-Man figures coming. We have the Master Universe. We shouldn't say He-Man. Yeah. But the Master Universe figures coming. We had these. Um, you know, and again, is this Cena awesome? Yeah, this Cena is awesome looking. Dog tag. I mean, they went all out with these elites. I just don't think the same customer who's buying the elites. Um, I mean, I, I don't. They're not price point the same. They're not whatever. I don't know why they can't both exist. But what do I know? I don't make those executive decisions. Um, that's made by somebody else. So, and the taker's hat will probably not stay on his head ever. It won't. It will not stay on his head. It is supposed to fit his head, but I... Uh, oh, wait, I got it on. Oh, yeah, I got Don't it breathe on. too hard. <gasps> <laughs> so, um, really cool. I mean, if you get one of these, and this, this, is, this is a shelf figure. I can't imagine we're going to ever use it in a fig no. fed. But if this was an Undertaker figure, regular figure, this is actually awesome looking. This looks great. He could do, he could make a special appearance in WrestleMania. He could come out and attack um, and throw whoever's in the ring onto the table and break the table. Yes. Okay. Like, <laughs> you know, so give well, me an example. These are these, these are both elite figures. Okay. You can see they all have their details stuff. I mean, this Velveteen Dream, I mean, this looks like Dream. It um, does. You know, and look, he's got his purple too, and he doesn't even have to match. This Taker's top notch. You want to look at Taker, someone who's a contemporary with him. The Rock, you know, I mean, like on a shelf, this just screams. You know, like you're a WWE fan, and I know um, there's been the, the the new releases coming from uh, the Japanese, from the New Japan guys, and the the, the Great Muda and stuff, and those are fifty dollars a piece. I mean, this cost. Wow. I mean, these weren't cheap. I mean, these are almost twenty bucks a piece. You know, they were like seventeen, eighteen dollars yeah. worth a piece where they were. But like again, they're designed to be played with. The ones that are fifty, I can't imagine playing with a fifty dollar figure. No. Um, and you know, that to me becomes a display piece. Now, am I am I saying I'm not going to get the uh, you know the um, Jushin Thunder Liger and display them. No, I gotta you know we're waiting figure out if I want to spend that kind of money on stuff. But to me, if for Haley, I mean, again, and this is a display and he's a display and Cena is a display. But like EC3, would he be cool on a display? Sure, he'd be great. But I think EC3 needs to go and start wrestling, you know, kind of thing in our fig fit. So all right, folks. So that's all the stuff we have to open for right now. Um, we might have some other stuff. We've been looking. We got some. We took some some. Uh, I, we looked and we got the actual women's pack of cards. That's not yeah. here with us right now. We got to get that to open. That was at Target. They sell those boxes of cards. And yeah. 
all the women's evolution and stuff like that. So when we open that, we'll show that to you guys. Um, any other wrestling stuff we get our hands on, we'll have, bring it all here. So, and oh, so Haley, do your spiel. Hit the subscribe button, turn on notifications, give us a huge thumbs up, and comment if you have time. Thank you guys for watching. So, folks, until next time, we'll see you at, at the, the matches. matches.